First, I would like to start with a big thank you to everybody at Discord's Cult of Filmen 86 for running the event and helping noobs like me get through the hurdles. We will take a quick look at the timesheet. Um, I was competing under the name H. Schufler and I finish second in Clubman class with a time of 1 minute 44. Let's go through the general rules. These are general rules to abide by when entering build and race. The assumption is the following, except if specifically stated otherwise. No using exploits in automation or beam NG. The tire widening trick is allowed as long as you're within the rules. No hidden or invisible aero. When weights are stated, the assumption is weights are to be measured in beam and G. When there's a limit for arrow parts, the mirrored arrow part does not have an effect, therefore it doesn't count to more parts. If you are if you're making road cars, you can't use exclamation race exclamation or exclamation ev exclamation you can't swap parts in beam and g or tune settings if doing race cars in beam and g you can change suspension parts diff parts transmission parts tune suspension gearing including the differential tire pressures you cannot change engine parts tune anything not listed above. Modding. No using mod bodies that have aero glitches or unrealistic aero values. In BeamNG, you can mod anything visual related. You can modify your collision mesh, but not to be abnormal compared to your vehicle. Example, making your card wide to stop overtaking. You can add nodes for animated steering and dials you can also add nodes to make your ve vehicle less jiggly so those were the general rules now the specific rules for this competition was so you want to enter a time attack event but you only have three timed attempts so whatever class you want you had better know your car very well first pick your class so since this was my first competition i picked clubman and restrictions were sports tires of 265 millimeter maxed width no arrow fixtures parts or quality sliders sports suspension preset only and a maximum of 200 kilowatt per 1000 kilogram or 0.134 horsepower per pound okay and this part is also just a bit more of explanation we can take a quick look unfortunately the engine sound didn't really come up through the stream but um, I will run a, a better lap after this where there will be the full engine sound. Uh, H. Uh, we can play HS up because he's also another clubman, yeah. All right, HS, go line up. Got an inline four here, individual throttle bodies, all wheel drive. A little bit of a turbo on there. See how this thing goes. Okay, you look like you are raring to go. Are you ready? Rev the engine when you're ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Alright, let's see how they do. It's secretly Phil's tactic to give himself an edge. <laughs> I kind of did that one time. But it didn't work very well. I can't remember who it was against. It was against somebody. 
I ended up crashing on my first attempt. So I will fast forward it and use this time to add the fact that the track was only revealed a short time prior to the event and I barely had three laps of practice before I tried. So this is why after my attempts I practiced some more and uh, made a much better lap which will be shown at the end of the video. Giving handicaps at some point. It oh, might yeah. be like an extra 50 or 100 kilos on the car. We shall see. All right, the penultimate corner. This car is a little worse for wear, but it's doing okay. Not the worst time. Going to be better than the last one. And that's a 152.54. That's about mid-pack, right? Uh, roughly, yeah. Go. Cool. Alright. Are you ready? Rev your engine when you're ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I don't expect you to go much faster. That was a fairly good lap, except for that one incident. But that incident could very easily happen again. And this is their third attempt, right? I believe it is. I don't remember, to be honest. So they're risking it for the biscuit. They're putting it all on black. Let's see how it turns out for them. Let's see if they got a cockpit for here. I do have a bit of a cockpit. Nicely done. Not overly detailed. Just adequate. Mm -hmm. Do pretty well. They're like you're clean, not the perfect uh, lines, but very, very clean and consistent, which I think will help you in your overall time. All right, the corners I start sucking at. No matter how many times I've done this track, these like four corners for me suck. So I quite like this corner personally. A challenge which makes them fun i think i like this corner i suck at it but it is a fun challenge and the next one as well the next one i can actually get right in a set of corsa fairly consistently but it is still really hard and but it's just it's just rewarding the other corners i don't hate them but they are my bad corners that i suck at it took me a long time just the first time i used this track just to get used to turn one because it's such a weird corner. It is very peculiar. Okay, much faster. Holy shit. A 144.15. That puts you in second, I believe. It does, by one second. Yeah. Impressive. And that Good was work. safe. Are you happy you're not going to do it again? Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Was a safe lap, and if it's good for a nice. second, I'll take it. Nice. I think you would have to have a lot of practice on the track to get your lines right to actually improve on that time because otherwise that was a really good lap yeah thanks
And this concludes the video. Hope you had a good time and that your interest for BEAM MP competition was sparked. Thanks for watching and have a good day.